so in this lecture we are going to learn about why should the base class destructor be virtual if we are using the base class and a lot of derived classes and we are using polymorphism okay so if we are using polymorphism that is we are having a lot of derived class from the base class and we are using the base class pointer to point to any of the derived class objects okay so let us see with one example so we have a class shape and we have some virtual method functions virtual void show shape then virtual void print area virtual void print perimeter okay so these are all pure virtual functions which the derived class have to make so shape it can be anything like it can be square okay it can be circle it can be rectangle so basically you have to derive it okay and shape we have a public constructor and destructor okay so this is fine it we define in fact a base class abstract class which has all virtual functions okay pure virtual function so it's kind of a interface now what happens is we have a class circle so it's from derives from public shape and we have you now private int star radius so i have a new variable i introduced a new variable radius a pointer to it okay so int star radius i take the constructor is now i am taking a radius value for it circle int r radius is equal to new int and then star radius is equal to r so this we do and now we have show shape so i say that okay see out circle virtual void print area see out 3.14 into radius into radius virtual void print perimeter so i show the perimeter okay so these are all fine and now i write a destructor where it is very important i had created taken some memory int star radius so i make a new int now i am deleting radius okay so this looks very fine to me and i am now sure that okay so when i call shape star s is equal to new circle i call it with 3 so now this will call the constructor here and it will call radius is equal to new int star radius is equal to r okay and then what happens is so s dot print area s dot print perimeter all will be fine and then we will do delete s so now comes the problem so when we delete s we do a delete s with a pointer to base class so what happens is that it goes to the destructor of the base class shape and here we see there is nothing cleaned up our clean up code was there in the circle class we deleted the radius so this is the clean up code that is here okay and we didn't do the clean up because if we are deleting with the pointer to the base class so this destructor of the derived class is never called and hence what will happen there will be memory leak so what's the solution so the solution for this is we have to make the destructor of the base class as virtual so that it calls the destructor of the derived class too and we can do the clean up of the code okay so this is very important concept which we have to do and we have to understand i hope you understand this video and if you like this video please subscribe to